please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Today we are going to discuss the concept of cube root of unit. Up till now we have seen the concept of square root, what is square root, how to find the square root. Today we will discuss about the cube root of unit. Besides the topic, we ha must have the concept of what is cube root. So before discussing the concept of cube root, we will see what is square root and then we will move towards the cube root and accordingly we will discuss the given top. First of all, we will write square root on one side and cube root on one side so that you can easily differentiate between the two. Okay. Well, we will start with the example. If you have a square, this is a square having side x as square have all the sides equal. So I have written x here and you, uh, you have to find the sides of the square and you are given with the area of the square. Then what will you do? You will write area of square is equals to length into breadth. So area is equals to as all the sides are equal. So it will be x square as length is also x and breadth is as well as it is also x. So now in this case, uh, if I'll say the area of a square is 9, but you don't know the sides of the, uh, of the square that is the length of each side then how you will be able to get this? If I write area is 9 and I will write x square as it is. Now I am unable to understand how to find the value of x. Now here comes the concept of square root that you have to take the square root on both sides in order to get the value of one side. Okay. So if I take the square root on both sides, what I will get? I will get 3 equals to x. But how I, did I get it? It is because this, this square cancel out with the square root and 9 is the square root of 9 is 3. As we multiply 3 itself, uh, we have to multiply the 3 itself 2 times so that we can get 9. So square root get the concept from here. Okay, square root is basically how many times a, one number should be multiplied by itself to get the given number. Okay. So this was all about square root. Now here, now we will move towards the cube root. Uh, why do we use the concept of cube? cube? First I will draw the cube. Okay. So if I will say the sides of the cube are x, x and x. That is length, breadth and height. And you are given with the volume of a cube as x dot x dot x as it is the multi as we have to multiply all the three sides that is length breadth and height okay and you are given with the volume of a cube as 27 and you will get uh, on multiplying the three times x we will get x cube now how will i will be able to get the value of x as we have x cube now here comes the concept of cube root if I take the cube root on both sides, then I can easily get the value of x. So, I will take the cube root as, it will be written as 3 here, equals to this x cube. And I will write 3 here and I will get x is equals to 3. Because when you multiply the 3 by itself 3 times, you will get 27. So, here comes the concept of cube root. So let's write down the definition of cube root, what it is actually. As we have already discussed the square root in our previous lecture. So cube root is defined as a cube root of a number is the factor that we multiply by itself three times to get that number. Okay. Now how it is represented? It is basically represented as like this. So whenever you want to take the cube root, you will use this symbol. So this is the basically symbol of cube root. Okay, so let's take, take an example. If you have given with the like 3 into 3 into 3, that is equal to 3 raised to power 3 and that is equal to 27. Now, I'll say that this 27 is the cube root of 3. Why? Because this 20, 27 is uh, that we have got we have got this 27 by multiplying 3 3 times so so this is how we get the concept of cube root that means when we multiply a number by itself 3 times we get the concept of cube root so we can also say that 3 if we take the cube of 3 we will get 27 cube of 3 that means if we multiply the 3 by itself 3 times 
but if we take the cube root of 27 we will get the 3 this is similar as we have seen in the square root case for that you can refer to the uh, to our video related to the square root okay so here we get we have uh, 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 got the concept of cube root now comes the concept of cube root of unity what is cube root of unity cube of cube root of unity holds impo holds importance because of the multiple root. First of all, if I ask you what is the cube root of 8, how we can find the cube root of 8? We can find it as by writing like 8, the factors of 8 are 2 into 2 into 2, okay? Then we have 2 into 2 into 2 can be written as 2 raised to power 3. Now 2 raised to power 3 and cube root, they can be cancelled out. How? 2 raised to power, well, then the cube root can be written as 1 by 3. As square root can be written as 1 by 2 and the cube root can be written as 1 by 2. So they cancel out and we will get 2. So the cube root of 8 is 2. That means when you multiply the 2 by itself 3 times you will get 8. Okay. Now similarly we can find the cube root of other numbers. The cube root of unity that is 1 holds importance because when we find the cube root of unity we get a very different result for example uh, if i say what is the square root of unity why the emphasis has not made on the square root of unity if i write let's say x be a square root of unity then then we can say that x is equals to under root 1 now it can be further simplified as by taking square on both sides x square and under root 1 square square will be cancelled out with the square root and we will get x square equals to 1 and this one will move on the other side x square minus 1 equals to 0 and it can be written as x plus 1 and x minus 1 equals to 0 and x plus 1 equals to 0 and x minus 1 equals to 0 so x is equals to minus 1 and x is equals to 1 so what are the two roots the two roots here are minus 1 and 1 these are the square roots of 1 now what is the, that is the square root of unity, these are the real numbers. But when we talk about the cube root of the unity, we didn't get the real roots of 1 only, we also get the complex roots. But how? Let's find it out. Let's say, let x be the cube root of unity. So, we can write it as x is equals to cube root of 1. So, taking cube on both sides, what we will get? x cube is equal to q. So this cube will be cancelled out with this cube root of unity but we will get x cube equals to 1. So we can for, for this uh, simplify it as x cube minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. So x cube minus 1 so we can write it as x whole cube minus 1 whole cube equals to 0. Here we can use the formula of a cube minus b cube that is a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b and a square plus a b plus b square. Okay, so we can apply this formula here as x minus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. From here we can find the roots as x minus 1 equals to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. From here we will get x equals to 1. So this is what this is the real root that is that means the real number okay then in case of x square plus x plus 1 we have to apply a quadratic formula in order to solve this so it can be solved as x is equals to the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is the quadratic formula okay as the given equation is quadratic so we can apply the values of from here the values of a b and c is all 1 as it is clear from the given equation so we can write it as x is equals to minus 1 plus minus under root 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and it can further be simplified as minus 1 plus minus under root minus 3 divided by 2 so finally we can write as the value of x is x is equals to minus 1 plus minus iota under root 3 divided by 2. So what we have got? We have got a number that is actually a complex number. Okay. So we can say that this is a complex conjugate number because these, there are two numbers that are the conjugate of each other as only the as only the sign with the um, imaginary part is different. So we can say that 
these are the imaginary cube roots okay so how many cube roots we have got after solving the uh, solving for cube root of unity we have got three roots this is the root number 1 and these are the 2 and 3 so there are total three roots so the solution set you can say is consists of 1 minus 1 plus iota under root 3 by 2 and minus 1 minus iota under root 3 by 2 so these are the three roots of cube roots of unity these roots are very important and holds very uh, very important properties in our next lecture we will discuss these roots and what are the properties of these roots because of which the uh, cube root of unity becomes a, a specific or a different topic in the uh, mathematics so we'll discuss the properties in the next lecture thank you Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.